In my, I spend. In my, I spend. In my, I spend. I'm riding around no gear. Hello, Brazilian and Beauties. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I want to say a huge welcome to you as well. And if you came here to check out this gorgeous unit I created, we're using some main concept hair. And you want to know the details, please continue watching. So today's review is in collaboration with Main Concept. So they sent me this bundle hair for review from their pristine line. And the packaging comes like this. So they sent me out their Brazilian Virgin Remy Pristine 100% human hair. And it says all in one pack with a 13 by four closure. And the style is PRW1303L slash deep wave three pieces. And in the lengths 18, 20, and 22 with a 13 by four 14 inch closure. And in the color natural black. So I'll show you the start card. And this is supposed to be unprocessed human hair. Now it states that you can bleach the hair with up to 40 volumes. Let me talk a little bit about that. Now I attempted to bleach the knots on this. It did bleach. So the, the knots did lift, but not that much. Just enough, I guess, because this hair is processed. It is pre-dyed to the black. So if you wanted to get hair that you can dye, I would suggest going for the natural brown. And that's also a suggestion that they make. If you want to dye the hair, go for a natural brown because this hair is pre-dyed to this natural black. I custom make this hair on a dome cap. I am going to insert that in here. So this is going to be like a little mini tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to come back with my pros and cons. Before we get started, here are a few items you will need. A wig cap or dome cap of your choice, a wig block or a mannequin foam head, your T-pin to secure down your hair or front to, you will also need your needle and thread. And of course, your frontal or closure and your bundles. For tacking on your closure, you're gonna wanna secure your dome cap onto the big block or mannequin foam head. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and tack down your closure or front tube just slightly over the dome cap. So leaving a little access of the hairline over the dome cap so that way when you apply it, it will fit snug and securely. You're gonna also want to stretch the front tube as much as you can without tearing around the dome cap. So that way when you apply your tracks, it'll fit securely and flat. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and clip up the hair so it don't get in the way. And now you're ready to install the hair. The first thing you're gonna do is thread your needle and make your first stitch. Now you're gonna to want to begin stitching down your front two. Making sure that you're stitching from ear to ear. I like to install the first track right next to the beginning of your closure to get a nice secure fit. You're gonna wanna sew from side to side, folding your bundles over in a horseshoe pattern. To make the sewing process easier, you can use your T-pins to secure the tracks down as you sew. And trust me, it's a huge difference. There are two techniques of sewing as you will see me do in this video. You can stitch the underhand lock stitch method or the overhand lock stitch method. I prefer the overhand lock stitch method because it already forms a loop for you to just pull through. But you will see me use both as an example in this video. Now, once you get to the corners, you're gonna wanna go ahead and secure it by making a knot by looping three times around the needle and pulling. Then you're gonna go ahead and fold the track and do it again, repeat the step. That will secure the tracks down and make sure they're flat on the corners. You start a new needle, you top the ends and pull the needle through the loop to secure it to the dome cap and the weft. I'm gonna repeat these steps as you continue on to finish off the bundle.
As I get to the top, I like to place my tracks closer together. And you're done. Now that you have completed your wig, you're gonna wanna spray either water or some kind of holding spray to secure down your baby hairs to prep the wig for the bleaching knot process. Now that you have done that, you wanna go ahead and cut off the access dome cap to expose the scalp or the lace. Making sure you do not cut directly on the stitch that you have sewn. Make sure you cut a little bit before the stitching. Here are the items you will need for bleaching your knots. Powder lightener of your choice, a bowl, red gold corrector to tone down any brassiness that may occur, a 30 volume cream developer, a coloring whisk, foils, and a color brush. Now I'm going to mix two scoops of powder lightener and one ounce of developer. Make sure you whisk it well to blend in all of that mixture. You're gonna want the mixture to be about a pancake consistency. You don't want it too watery that it will seep through the lace or too thick that it won't penetrate the knots. Now begin lightly applying your bleach mixture. leave a little extra lace so that when I apply it on my head I can get exact measurements or how much lace I need to really cut off. I hope you guys enjoyed that mini tutorial. I enjoyed making this hair. I always enjoy making my units because it's unique to me and customized to me. This is what the hair looks like after I pretty much combed it out after washing it. You saw how it looked right after I washed it from bleaching the knots. So I pretty much combed it out afterwards to get any shedding that I might have gotten from going back in and tweezing the hair. I just wanted to comb all of the excess hair out that I tweezed out. Once I did that, I went ahead and went back in, added a little water and some curl cream, and this is what it looks like now. So I do love the pattern that came out, and this is the natural pattern of the hair, and this is how much I have left over. So almost about a little less than half a bundle left over. So this is the curl pattern. As far as shedding and tangling, I haven't experienced that as of yet, other than removing the lace from the front of, of the front two. That's the only shedding I got, and I probably will get a little more because I bleached the knots on it. You know, once you bleach your knots, you will start eventually over time getting some shedding. No tangling as of yet. The hair is super soft, as you can see. It also even looks really cute once it is combed out because it looks like this natural, you know, wavy fro type thing going on. So if you like that, this is perfect for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close up of this curl and this hair. So I just pretty much tacked down, if you see it's lifting right here, so it is a soft lace, like a Swiss lace. I pretty much just tacked down right here, just so you guys can see. So you can go ahead and tack the rest of it down. I just didn't do that. I didn't feel I needed to anyways. The way I constructed this cap, it pretty much lays flat. So that is this. Let me show you this curl and this luster. Lately, I am loving this natural black hair. It's not something that I'm used to. I'm getting used to it and I do like it. So if you like jet black hair, then this might be the one for you. And if you don't and you wanna be able to dye your hair, you wanna go for the natural brown. So keep that in mind when choosing your hair. Let me go ahead and give you that 360. This hair does fall just literally at bra length. As far as the hairline is concerned, the hairline is a little on the wiggish side. So that's why I went ahead and, and plucked it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You could probably add a little concealer or foundation into it to cover up the knots. I did go ahead and pluck it. I always pluck, pretty much pluck my units unless it says pre-plucked. So I wanna say a huge thank you to Main Concept for sending me out this hair. Please, if you have any questions or comments, leave that down below so I can get back to you. And if you got into this point and you haven't already, 
please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that alert notification so you can be up to date when I upload new videos because I'm coming at you with some more good ones. So please stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye.